Hey everyone, welcome back to another One More Mini Podcast podcast. My name is Yuval, and I'm here to talk to you guys about the word no. This is a very easy word to understand, but I think it's very difficult for a lot of us to accept. Like, genuinely accept. So, what am I, what am I talking about? Well, sometimes you'll find yourself requesting something or asking a yes or no question to somebody or in a group setting, and somebody will say no. Uh, they can respond more politely, or they can respond more uh, uh, aggressively, but they'll say no nonetheless. And when someone says no to you, a lot of people will have different responses, either in anger, or disgust, or pity, or who knows what. It, we're all human, and it's because we have expectations. We always have expectations for everything whether it's super high expectations or you just don't care. It's for the day-to-day -day stuff, it's for the random event things. We have expectations for everything, all right? And people responding to the word no, it's okay to feel whatever you're feeling. It's, it's totally natural to feel upset, to feel angry, to feel whatever. If you feel happy, that's okay. The thing is, is how you respond publicly. That's what we need to focus on. That's something that I struggled with growing up and something that I've learned to kind of manage uh, is handling that response. Is now that your body is filled up with these emotions, what are you gonna do about them? It's really hard also to handle this when it's something you're passionate about. If it's something you really, really enjoy, that's, that's like a a, a killer, all right? If, if you have some awesome dream or you have this awesome thing and someone says no to it or even worse, stomps on it further, that, that can be way worse. But we still need to handle ourselves properly. So here's a list of things that I think you can do that I've sort of learned uh, to kind of cope, I guess, with the people saying no. Number one, set low expectations. That's it. That's really it. If you don't have any expectations and someone says no to you, boom. You don't care. That's no 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 skin off your nose or whatever the saying is. Done. It's not the greatest tool. It's not the greatest thing you can do, but it's still it's still an option cuz you won't get upset or you most likely won't get upset if you don't have any expectations for something. Number 2, politely ask for an explanation. You know, if it's for something that you really care about, or if it's for something that you're really excited about, and someone says no to you, that's gonna suck. It's gonna hurt. Ask for an explanation. You only know what's going on in your head, and I think when you have reasoning on their side, it might help a little bit with the coping and with the understanding, because if you want to go to the Insane Clown Posse concert and you're super excited about it, and your friend says no, if they just say no, like, what the heck, why, 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 why not? Well, if you ask, they can say, well, I was attacked by a clown. And then you can, you know, hopefully uh, jump to a better conclusion and draw a better bridge to that response. Number three, just don't ask them. If this is someone who constantly says no to you, or is very flaky on things, or it's just a toss-up of what they're going to say, Sometimes it's best to just leave the situation and maybe find someone else to ask that question for, or find someone else to say yes to. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So when someone keeps on saying no to you, why put yourself through that? Just remember their response. If, if you know that they said no to you last week for whatever reason, I mean, is it really worth asking them again? Maybe find somebody else. Number four, remove yourself from the situation. I think there are a lot of people have these immediate reactions and these immediate uh, thoughts and feelings that just swell up inside them and they just, they don't know how to handle it. And and I mean, that it happens. We're, like I said, we're human. Sometimes it's best to just completely remove yourself from the situation. Now, don't be, don't be like rude about it. Don't be, don't be nasty about it. Just politely say, after they say no to you, say, all right, cool, whatever, and move on. Well, maybe don't say that exactly, but just try and downplay and minimize the situation as much as possible because the more you kind of bring up the fact that it's hurting you or whatever, 
the the more likely it could lead to an awkward conversation or an awkward situation where you know now they feel bad and whatever and maybe they feel obligated to go now and guilty and you don't really want that because then that just kind of ruins the whole experience for you so just remove yourself from the situation just take a step back take a deep breath and let the emotions flush out and give it a few minutes and i promise you you'll be okay number five be aware of what you're saying to people all right if you're asking a bunch of people things and they say no to you are you saying no to them a lot because a lot of people will reflect and mimic kind of your energy. So if you're always saying no to somebody and all of a sudden now you're asking them for a favor or you're asking them a question or whatever it is, do you really think they're going to respond in a nice, positive way to you? I, I wouldn't. I, I don't think so. So try and be more open and be more proactive yourself in saying yes to people. Now, obviously, don't just say yes to everything. But when you put yourself out of the way... People are going to remember that. And so when then it's your turn to ask that question, they'll maybe remember on the times that you were nice and you said yes, and they'll say yes, maybe. Number six, just express the reasoning. If you ask someone just straight up with very little information, nine times out of ten they'll probably say no. But before asking that question, you lay the groundwork and you explain everything and you really give a lot of detail and information to this, it'll probably let them have a more informed choice because generally people will say no when they're when they don't know things you know no one's gonna sign a, a, an agreement or a contract without reading it hopefully or at least understanding it a little bit people who sign contracts without reading it are silly anyways but just just be be more open about it and be able to express how much it means to you as well because if this is just something that you ask out of the blue and someone says no to, maybe they're thinking that you don't care so much about this and it's not so important that they go or say yes or respond or whatever it is. So just just be more open and be more full with your information. And that's my list for you guys. Uh, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you thought of something in a different way. Um, you know, it's just, it's about... It's about being flexible, really, I think, is the core. So if you have any other coping techniques or any other mechanisms or tools that I didn't mention, give me a comment. Tell me about it. Let's have a conversation. I'm, I'm young. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just, there, I have so many years to learn and grow. So who knows what other tools and who knows what else is out there. But as always, guys, have a great day, night, or whenever you're listening to this mini podcast.